Welcome to Mando Fridays. All right, chapter 13, episode five of this season. And easily the best one of this season. Probably the best one of the overall two seasons. You know, we knew this episode was called The Jedi. We were, you know, teased about Soka Tano. And, you know, the episode starts and you're thinking, how long is it actually going to be? Is she just going to come in right at the end? No, about 30 seconds in, you got a dual wield lightsabers fucking shit up. It's crazy. I was fanboying from the very start and throughout, to be honest. Uh, this is everything I've been waiting for. If you're a Star Wars fan as well, this is everything you'd been hoping for and you're gonna have a great time with this episode. Now, I usually go quite heavy on the plot, but I don't wanna go over, you know, too over the top because, you know, a fair amount happens in this. It basically involves a town ruled by some bitch who's know some empire shit she's got beef with ahsoka who's on this planet and mando comes down and he wants to find ahsoka and he finds the bitch first and she's like go kill the jedi they'll give you a reward so she just tells him where the jedi is and he finds her and then he's like oh yeah they asked me to kill you but i ain't about to do that because i need you to train this little guy and i was literally fearing the whole episode I was like, oh god there's gonna be like so much shit getting in the way of him actually finding her and you know them getting to do what they need to do no no, he, he finds her pretty straightforward and, and they just sort of crack on. I think it's because the, you know, the whole fucking series so far has just been shit going wrong. Like the ship crashing, the ship having an issue, need to blow up a base. But, you know, for this episode, they're just like, yo, we've made you wait long enough. Let's just give you everything you've been waiting for, which was nice. For Ahsoka, the casting was absolutely perfect. Like the look is great. You, you always wonder how a character that's only ever been seen animated is gonna look live action especially like you know she's fucking like bright orange with like a blue and white stripy fucking tail on her head sort of thing so you, you're wondering how it's gonna look looks great sounds great and the episode didn't exactly go the way i expected it to i, I really thought moff would be in this one i thought he'd show up but i guess they had a lot to sort of run through in this episode anyway without chucking him in the basket and i felt like this episode educated me on some things i didn't realize that mando's armor is a uh, lightsaber proof the best guy i know it's like a very rare metal in the uh, star wars universe but it, it can't actually be broken by lightsabers she, she was slashing at his ass and he was just blocking 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 like minor no scratches anything but, you know, obviously, they, they do what they need to do. They save this town from this bad bitch. Um, she does actually mention Thrawn. I think Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, I didn't watch Rebels, but I'm pretty sure he's the blue geezer. You would have seen photos of him. And, like, you know, I think there's been novels about him. He's quite a big figure. I don't actually know anything about it. I know. Not really a true Star Wars buff, am I? But, I don't know. I never got into Rebels. Clone Wars was enough for me. I couldn't be bothered with another animated show. So, yeah, it, it, they're bringing all these characters from animated shows into this show. Um, it's pretty crazy. So, yeah, it, it's one of them. The show's actually got so many characters now that it's hard to you know balance it i think in a, in a sense because at the end of this episode mando and the child they just leave ahsoka because she says to him that she she she's scared of training him because apparently baby yoda is too emotional even though he all he fucking does is go goo goo ga ga and fucking want to eat but you know she sees the anakin path in him the fact that because he's old i mean technically he's 50 years old so he is quite old to be start getting trained He's emotional, he's seen some shit, and he's attached to Mando, just like Anakin was attached to his mother. So she's worried that the emotional shit, if he becomes too powerful, he could go down a certain path. So she's like, yo, take him to this place. It's like an old Jedi temple or something. See if he connects with the Force, see if other Jedi show up and want to train him. Done and dusted. What if we get Luke cameo? I wonder if he hears that shit and shows up, brings him to the Academy, and then fucking, you know, tries to kill his nephew. <clears throat> we'll see. But yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say is Ahsoka leaves at the end. And then it's just Mando and the child and they're going to go off on another adventure again. So Ahsoka's out of the picture for now. Don't know where Moff's at. Um, looks like we're going to get this. Why have I forgotten the blue guy's name already? There's too much characters to fucking deal with. I'm a mess. Thrawn. About to say. Yeah, Thrawn. Thrawn. Yeah, all them lot. All right. What I'm saying is there's a lot going on. So, who knows, it's like a lucky dip of what character we're going to fucking get in the next episode. Either way, this was a great episode. Really good. It was just dope to see Ahsoka live action and see the chemistry and sort of get a rough idea of where this show is heading now. But I still can't really tell how it's going to end up. If you watched it, let me know what you think about it. And I also want to say thank you. You hit the big milestone. 50 subscribers. Heck yeah. The thing is 51 now. I know, those numbers are just skyrocketing. But yeah, appreciate all of you that subbed and are watching, leaving comments, likes, dislikes, all that. Appreciate it. If you're sharing it about, that's also great. Uh, appreciate that if you are. So yeah, 
in a bizzle. I'm a mess. <laughs>